Today I'll show you how to create your first script and I'll show you what scripts are for. So basically scripts are instructions that we give to the computer so the computer knows what to do. Scripts are used on any game you can think of. These are basically uh, whenever we want something to happen in the game. Uh, like for example, we want that the player dies when it touches a part or maybe we want the player to make some cash when it touches a coin. Any kind of action that happens in the game, we do it through scripts. So let's create our first script right now. So for our example script, we're gonna go ahead and create a part. And whenever the player touches the part, we want the part to change color. So we want this specific action to happen. So we're gonna select our part and we're gonna right click insert object and we're gonna insert a script you can change the name of the script if you want I'm gonna change it to change color so we know uh, what this script does right and you're gonna see that inside our script we already have one line of code that says print hello world so this is basically just gonna print the string hello world to the output. It's always good to have the output open so you're gonna go to view tab and you're gonna click on this right here that says output. So whenever we play the game it's gonna print hello world. We're gonna go ahead and play it so you can see it and if you scroll up and see this line right here you can see that in the line number one of our change color script it's printing hello world. You could even change this to whatever you want. Printing is really good for debugging. So let's say we want to change this to hello. No, or my name is Poncho Kings. And then we play and you can see that it is printing my name is Poncho Kings now. So that is basically our first script ever, but we're gonna make something a little bit more advanced so we start understanding how scripts work so whenever you're working with scripts there is three main things you gotta understand we have variables we have functions and we have events there's a lot of more tools you were you will start um, finding out later on but these are the basic ones we're gonna start with and the ones we're gonna use for our specific script. So what is a variable guys? A variable you can think of it like a box where we store information and we give it a name. So let's say we want to store our part inside our variable. So we would do we will give the name we will give a name to our variable in this case I'm gonna name it part and then inside our variable we want to have our part so we would have to go to the workspace because our part is inside the workspace and to access the children of the workspace you would have to do dot and then part make sure there is not any other part that has the same name inside the inside the workspace because then our script would have trouble knowing which one is the right one Maybe we can even change the name of our part to uh, part color part, maybe. And then instead of part, we're gonna have to access to color part. So, okay, our variable part is referring to our color part inside the workspace. So this is our first variable, and this, is, this makes it easier to access certain information so you don't have to repeat yourself with a lot of code over and over. So now let's go ahead and create a function. What are functions for? Functions are chunks or blocks of code that we can re reutilize later on as many times as we want. So let's create our first function. First, whenever you're creating a function, you're gonna have to put function at first and then you're gonna give it a name. This function is gonna have our, our, this is where we're gonna change the color of the part. So we're gonna name it after that. 
maybe it's the function that uh, change color function that's a good name I think so yeah change color this is gonna be our change color function and inside our function we're gonna access our part which is a workspace color part and we're all gonna access the color property which, which is this property right here and we want to change the color property to color tree dot new this is a data type Roblox has a lot of different data types uh, like I said you will understand and find them later on but right now uh, we're, we just want to change the color so we're gonna need to use this data type and inside we're gonna have to we're gonna set the color to red so you can access the the color palette here if you want to change the color just like that it uses RGB but I think red is a good color so so this is this is the function that is gonna change the color of our part so now uh, our function is gonna not gonna play by itself if, if if we go ahead and play the game right now you're gonna notice nothing really happens because we gotta call our function first so when are we gonna call our function when are we gonna change the color of our part well we want it to change color whenever the player touches the part right so that's where events come in handy events are basically uh, the tools that detect when the play when something happens in the game so we want it to detect when something touches the part so we would have to do part and then we will use a touched event there's a lot of different events you can see them with the with the purple lightning icon those are different events we can use uh, let's see if we can find more we have the touched event we have the changed event in it if if any property changed uh, this is gonna detect it we have the child remove event and different events we can use but right now we want to use the touched event so whenever we're using an event we gotta connect it to a function so we're gonna use connect and inside connect we're gonna we're we're gonna tell the script to connect this event the touched event with our change color function so we do that by putting the name of our function inside connect right here and this is gonna trigger this is gonna make our function trigger whenever the part is touched so if we go and test it now oh you can see that the, that the part is already turning red but that is because it is touching the base plate right if we set it to if we anchor the part so it doesn't move you can see that it's not gonna change color but whenever we touch it it's gonna change the color right so our touch event is triggering it's calling our change color function and our change color function is changing the color of the part and that is guys a really simple way on how you can make your first script ever I hope this works as a simple introduction to scripts obviously it's something super simple and there is a lot of more t complex things you can do and I just want to encourage you guys if you ever have a question on something you want to do if there is something specifically you want to create I want you to know there's probably someone uh, in the world that already wanted to create the same thing you want to do so all you gotta do is search on YouTube, search on Google, maybe even on the Roblox Dev Forum. Uh, there's always gonna be people that um, have similar questions to the ones you have. And there is always someone that has already answered that question, or at least most of the time. So yeah, you can always find a, an answer to your questions. I hope this video helped you guys and you can create a lot of cool stuff with this. Um, little introduction to scripting and well 
yeah, I cannot wait to see what you will create. I hope to you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe so I can keep creating more simple guides. And I'll see you in the next video, okay? Bye-bye.